Nola Jet here at Papa Roco's. Great stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our beach travel vlog, we eat a burger, pizza, and Italian food at Papa Roco's on the Gulf Coast in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Papa Roco's is located in Gulf Shores at 101 West 6th Avenue, which is about three hours and 194 miles from the New Orleans French Quarter. Join us for a beach food travel adventure as we explore Gulf Shores style Italian food and a huge cheeseburger. If you're looking for a great bar experience with live music that also serves food later than most other joints in the Gulf Shores area, Papa Roco's is a great choice. Our restaurant review videos will be exploring some of the best Gulf Shores restaurants, and this beach food vlog will show you how we enjoy our Gulf Coast neighborhood restaurant experiences. So whether it's the daytime or nighttime, there's always a good time going on inside here at Papa Roco's. It's an enjoyable space simply as a bar, but they also sling some pretty good food here as well. So you can get some great food items in here along with just passing a good time with their frequent live music performances. So let's head on inside here and check this place out. And you can see they have tons of memorabilia on the walls and there's so many interesting things to see in here. They have a great main bar area here and then just a bunch of tables and chairs all around the rest of the area. So even though this is a smaller venue, they managed to pack in a lot more folks than you would expect. And they also have a great selection of what lots of people love to do at the beach and that's collect t-shirts and other souvenirs. So they have your awesome collection of t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, license plates, caps, shot glasses and huggies. So you can make sure to get your tourist experience souvenir on. And then there's always a lot of fun folks having a great time in here and you can't beat a great fun time whether it's day or night in here as there's always something interesting and fun going on here and you should always check out the live music when you get a chance. Check out Papa Rocco's menu where they have pizza and an oyster bar. So they have a kids menu and a great beverage menu and operate as a sports bar when there's games on. So we have Rocco's appetizers with a fresh Italian garden salad, Caesar salad, spinach artichoke dip, stuffed mushrooms, oysters picard, garlic bread, cheese bread, you can add marinara sauce, kill and eat shrimp, Papa's buffalo wings, potato skins, you get a combo platter with three wings, small stuffed mushrooms and three skins, nachos, and then you've got Papa's Steam Specials with Snow Crab, Royal Reds, and Combo Reds. And then we have Papa's Pizza with our great cheese pizza and then a large selection of items. You can also add Alfredo sauce and Papa's Deluxe Pizza, which is a good deal, and the Price Buster Pizza, which is a better deal. Then we have Papa's Specialty Pizza with Seafood Primavera Pizza, Vegetarian Style, Chicken Club Pizza, Big Meat Pizza, Bacon Cheeseburger Pizza, Spinach Alfredo Pizza, Buffalo Chicken Pizza, Hawaiian Pizza, and Taco Pizza. Next we have Papa's Specialties with the original Who's Your Daddy Burger. Try it, we dare you. Alright, dare accepted, I will. Then we have Rocky's Knockout Burger with bacon and blue cheese crumbles, Alpine Burger, Patty Melt, Meatball Sandwich, Italian Sausage Sandwich, French Dip, Philly Beef Steak, Papa Steak Sandwich, Turkey Club Melt, Reuben Hot Dog, Coney Island Chili Dog, Baked French Onion Soup, Bowl of Chili, a Baked Chili, and BLT. Then we have Mama's Italian Specialty, served with garlic bread. We have fettuccine alfredo, chicken alfredo, shrimp alfredo, lasagna, Papa's favorite, spaghetti, seafood pasta, baked ravioli, manicotti, Italian combo dinner with meatballs, spaghetti, lasagna, ravioli, and manicotti. Winter specials, 5 to 7 p.m. Dine-in only. Mondays, oyster stew. Tuesdays, baked salmon patties, white sauce, potatoes, and beans. Wednesday and Sunday, all-you-can-eat spaghetti. Every Thursday, prime rib. Ho, ho, ho. Then we have oysters, all oysters at market price. Then we have a selection of raw or steamed oysters and dozen or half dozen servings. And then we have a selection of great 
baked oysters, including an Oysters Rockefeller, which lists it has spinach in it. Now the original recipe, which was invented in New Orleans at Antoine's restaurant, does not have spinach. So this is not a real Oysters Rockefeller. I got here later at night and a band was playing, so of course it's a great time to get pizza. <laughs> All right, let's dig into this slice. Mmm. Okay, so uh, I get kind of an impression on initially biting into it. It tastes like this pizza was kind of pre-cooked with like a cheese uh, topping on it. And then all these other toppings added on top seem to have had like another layer of cheese added and then they were cooked later. So I kind of have a uh, distinct uh, sort of mouthfeel that it's a two layer pizza. It's all right though. So, uh, but I, I definitely uh, don't think I've ever had a pizza quite like this with the sensation of the two layers of the toppings and cheese like it is. Now, I could be wrong. I mean, my experience with Pizza Hut does not make me the most gourmet pizza cook I ever could have been. But, you know, it was still a decent pizza. Now let's try out this lasagna. Oh, 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 oh. So, this stuff looks pretty good. Um, they did burn one of the corners here. But, you know, I like a little uh, burned edge lasagna sometimes. But the uh, burned edge didn't have any cheese on it. It's just like burned noodle. So I don't know uh, how that's going to taste without any sauce and cheese kind of burned and crusty on it. So, let's go ahead and uh, dig in and sample this stuff. I am a big lasagna fan. So, look at here. Oh, it's all ooey gooey and cheesy. It's very hot and uh, let's hope I don't burn my tongue. Oh, look at all this cheese. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm gonna hope that I don't burn myself like I have so many times in the past with lasagna. And okay, so it's really hot, but not sear my mouth hot. So I'm glad that I did not have any mouth searing, burning sensations. But it's got uh, some nice flavor. The sauce is pretty nice in here. The cheese is ooey gooey delicious. Noodles are all good other than the little corner where it's just burned to a crisp. But generally, uh, this is some nice tasting lasagna. It's not quite just like a mama used to make, but hey, you know, I think it might be one of the better lasagnas I've had in the Gulf Shores area. Though it'll uh, certainly do the trick when you've got that lasagna craving because, oh, look at all this ooey gooeyness. Now, uh, I think maybe I'd like a little more sauce in here. I'm more of a saucy kind of fellow, so I do appreciate a uh, more heavily sauced pasta. So uh, I like my lasagna to have lots of good red gravy in it. Now, you know, there's also some uh, Alfredo white sauce style uh, lasagnas also out there, but typically I think I like my lasagna with the uh, red gravy more, so give me a little of that red sauce all over it. Now, the uh, container that this lasagna is in is really hot, so I do believe they cooked the lasagna or reheated the lasagna directly inside of this container, so it is really hot on this plate. Now, see this big piece of bread? It's kind of hard to work around. I wish they would have given me a little plate with the bread on the side. So, it's a really good garlic bread, though. I just wish a little plate on the side would have made it a little easier to eat. Overall, though, this is a pretty darn good lasagna experience. So, hey, there's really no other place you can get lasagna up until around midnight at any other spot in Gulf Shores. So, I'll give thumbs up to that. And just like I've destroyed this lasagna, destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought of this lasagna. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips. And hey, 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 it's time for a beer to chase all that down. So, prost. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So... The bill arrived and the total was $20.03 before tip and that included two beers. And now it's time for me to accept the challenge of the original Who's Your Daddy Burger. Let's do it. Oh, look at this thing. You've got a pickle and some chips on the side, so hey, I always love a great deal of pickle spear to start a feast out like this. Mmm, yeah. Makes me happy. Alright, look at these huge sticks inside the burger. This is, a uh, Pretty interesting here. This is uh, quite a thick looking burger. This is uh, gonna be an actual dare to try to even pick this thing up and get it inside my mouth. Look how uh, thick this thing is. Ooh, 
I don't know if I can uh, do a python dislocation of my jaw to get all this in. Oh, it's not easy. Oh my goodness. Look at this monster. Oh gosh, it's got all kinds of stuff stacked up in here. We're going to have to do a little surgery though. Okay, so part of the thickness, there's two patties and this other like bun just thrown in the middle. I guess we're trying to be like a uh, McDonald's Big Mac or something, but we don't need that bread. Get rid of that extra bread. Hey, look, I got to watch my figure. I don't need all those extra carbs. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, more meat is the way I like to go. <laughs> so, less bun, more meat. Yes, sir. Although, I think I might not have the problem I sometimes have with some burgers where I end up with more bun than meat because there's a lot of meat on this burger. These are two very thick slabs of burger meat on this thing. It's quite a monstrous burger. This is definitely one of the larger burgers I think I've eaten. So uh, the bun size is uh, not out of the range of burger buns I've had in the past. It is a larger size burger bun, but ooh, 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 this is definitely a very generous serving of beef with these two large, thick patties of burger on here. So I am uh, quite impressed with the serving size here. This is probably the uh, largest, thickest burger that I have had in quite a long time. Usually a lot of the burger challenges uh, that have multiple patties tend to use a little bit thinner hamburger patty on the actual burger uh, construction. So this is impressive. The cheese is also nice and ooey gooey and it's been very respectably awesome in just stretching out and gluing all of the components of the burger together. So the structural integrity of this thing has been fantastic and I'm amazed that it didn't fall apart more than it did. I did have some pieces of the actual meat kind of crumble away and fall down, but that is to be expected anything this big. So look, I have a third meal down here. So I got a little tomato, a little piece of uh, burger here. So the uh, meat and some of the toppings certainly fell out, but I thought it would have been a lot more considering how hard just getting my mouth open wide enough to bite into this thing. So I, uh, I'm pretty happy I don't have a complete disaster with things just falling all over the place. And uh, it's kind of fun having all these leftovers in the bottom of the basket to eat. So this is uh, like a po' boy in some ways. I don't think I've ever had a burger with this much leftover at the end unless it was one of those burgers that was just a total disaster that completely fell apart. For a burger that overall had very respectable structural integrity, I'm quite satisfied and happy with this burger. Now I'm not going to eat this last little piece of bun, so maybe I failed the challenge because of that. But hey, I, just, I need more of this protein, not more carbohydrates. So, just like I've destroyed this huge burger, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this monster burger. While you're down there, remember to check out the link to my Patreon account. I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So, the bill arrived, and the total was $37.18 before tip, and that included my dining companion's drink and shrimp Alfredo. So, thanks so much to everybody at Papa Rocco's for such fun times. Great music and really good food and for serving late, unlike most other places. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nola Gent channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would just remember to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. So tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel. It would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.